overflows. Master the Awakener The role of the Master is to give you a glimpse of the real, not a teaching, but an awakening. He is not a teacher. Indeed, he is an awakener. He has not to give you any doctrines. If he gives you a doctrine, he is a philosopher. If he talks about the world as illusory and agrees, argues and proves that the world is illusory, if he discusses, debates, if he intellectually gives you a doctrine, he is certainly not a master. He may be a teacher, a teacher of a particular doctrine, but not a master, not the awakener. Of necessity, much suffering will be there for the disciple if he is not in deep intimacy with the master. It is impossible. He will not be ready to suffer so much. He has come in search of bliss and the Master gives suffering. He has come to feel euphoria and the Master creates a hell for him. In the beginning, hell will be there because your image will be shattered. Your expectations will be shattered. Whatsoever you have known, you will have to throw it. Whatsoever you are, he will undo, he will undo, undo all that. Really, you are passing through a conscious death. The master is a death. He is, and unless you trust him so totally, this surgical operation is impossible because in the beginning there will be suffering. Your anguish will surface, all your suppressed health emotions will be revealed, and only if you believe. If you have deep faith and trust in, trust in the Master, you can remain with Him. Otherwise, you will escape. Because this man is disturbing you completely, he is shaking you from the very root. So remember, the role of the Master is to make you aware of your false falsicity and because of your false center, your world that surrounds you is false. The world is not really illusory. It's not Maya. It is Maya because your eyes are illusory. You have the sh shade, the glasses of various doctrines, egocentric identities and conditionings. They are dream filled. You project your dreams all around and the reality is overlooked. It is falsified. The same world will become real when your eyes are real, you awake from your deep slumber. When the false center is broken and you are again rooted in your real center, in your being, this world will become the liberation, a freedom, a spontaneity nirvana for you. 
Zen masters have been continuously saying that this world is freedom, spontaneity, naturalness, nirvana, or moksha, liberation. It is only a question of eyes, the way you look at the world. With false eyes, everything is falsified and with real eyes, everything is real. Your false entity creates a false world around you and never think that you all live in one world. You cannot. Each one lives in his own created world of illusion, misery, conflict. Certainly there are as many worlds as there are minds because each mind creates its own world. Each conditioning, each egocentric identity creates its own world, its own milieu. Even if you are living in a family, the husband lives in his own world and the wife in her own world. And there are collisions when they collide with one another and that happens almost every day and there are collisions every day between these two worlds the world created by your husband and the world created by your wife they never meet they collide meeting is impossible as long as you are guided by mind, egocentric identity and conditions, there can be no meeting, only collisions and conflict is possible. That's what you can see happening around you. The moment they, you meet someone where there is no egocentric identities, conditionings, then there is one world. When mind is not, mind means egocentric identities, conditionings, then the meeting, the union is possible. The wife lives in her own world. She lives in her own expectations. The husband for her is not the real husband that is there in the world. He is just her own image. Everyone makes image of his wife or her husband. The husband lives in his own world and the real wife is not his wife. He has an image of wife and whenever the wife falls short of this image, there is a constant struggle. Each one of us have certain expectations that my wife, my husband has to be like this, 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 this. And whenever the wife or husband falls short of the image. There is a struggle, conflict, anger and hatred. He, each one of us, loves his, creates his own image and loves his own image of the spouse. He loves his own image of a wife and the wife loves her own image of a husband and these both are illusory. They exist nowhere. 
this real wife is there and the real husband is there however they cannot meet because between these two real things there are unreal wife and unreal husband they are always there the faults they would not allow this meeting of the real ones everyone is living in his or her own world in his own dreams expectations projections and so on there are as many worlds as there are minds those worlds are illusory when your false center disappears the whole world changes for you nothing has changed the everything remains the same but your vision way of looking at the world its phenomena has changed these worlds are illusory and when the false center disappears false center means your own imaginations expectations the whole world changes for you then it is a real world then for the first time you see things as they are then there is no misery because with illusion expectation also disappears you do not expect anything from anyone and with reality there can be no misery then one comes to feel it is so the fact is fact only with fictions there are problems and fiction never allows you to know the fact these fictions of the mind are illusory the role of the master is to shatter the fictions that the fact becomes available to you and you become available to the fact this facticity is truth once you know that facticity even the master will be different if you come to a master now you come with your own image of him you your expectations of the master are there when someone comes to a master and with his own image of the master and then if i am not following or fulfilling the image he is in difficulty but how the master is to follow the image and if he tries to follow everybody's image master will certainly be in a total mess and every disciple thinks he should be like this or that he has his own concept of a master if he is not fulfilling his a concept the disciple becomes frustrated but this is how it is going to be he moves from one master to another a disciple comes with a mind and this is the problem the role of the master is to change his mind to destroy it to come with a mind and he looks at everything with his own mind when worlds become an illusion the master will also be a part of it and will disappear that is why when the disciple awakens there is no master this will seem very paradoxical when the disciple really awakens there is no master he knows there is no difference a flower master is a flower that has blossomed